Hi, welcome back to my series on VM Manager. So in our previous two chapters, we had learned about patch management and inventory management. In this particular chapter, we'll learn about configuration manager. So in VM Manager, there are two flavors of OS configuration management. There is the OS policy and there is the guest policy. One important thing to note is that you can use your OS policy using the console, whereas if you're creating your guest policy, you have to do it via G Cloud. So that's one important difference between both of them. I mean, that is still now. There is a possibility that later on that guest policies can also be done via the console. So currently, as of 15th, uh, November 2021, it can only be done via the uh, via G Cloud, that is the guest policy. Now let's compare both of them. So the important comparison here is that if you're using guest policy, your virtual machine can have any version of your OS config agent installed in it. Whereas if you're using OS policy, then it has to, your virtual machine has to have an OS config agent of a date of either 2021-0427 or later. Whereas your OS policy only supports zonal resources, your guest policy supports global resources. Now, this is something that uh, you will learn as you create your OS policy. The first thing that we'll do in this chapter is we'll create OS policy, and in our next chapter, we'll create a guest policy. Another important thing to note is that OS policy supports both enforcement as well as compliance, whereas your guest policy only supports en enforcement. So this is another very important uh, differentiation between both of them as well. And the other ones are pretty nominal. I feel the rollout support is not there for uh, guest and exclusion filters are also not there for your guest policy, whereas it's there for OS policy. And the support resources include basically the same for both, whereas for your guest policy, it also includes uh, software recipes. So, and another major differentiation is that in OS policy, you can create a single policy for multiple operating systems, whereas that is not possible for guest policy. So, these are some of the major differences between both of them. So, I would assume that this that is a single policy for multiple operating system, uh, policy enforcement type and resource type. These are major differences between both of them. So let us start off by creating a first OS policy. So what I'll do is I'll create a few virtual machines and I'll create an OS policy to, to make sure that node is installed in all of them. So let's create our OS policy. Okay, so now let's start off by creating a first OS policy. So what do you need to do first is you need to go through this documentation. So this documentation tells you on how you can create your OS policy YAML or JSON file. So if you go through this file, you can see that your JSON or YAML file has to have three sections. The first is the mode, the second is the resource group, and the third is the resource. The mode here is very important. So if your mode is validation, that means your OS policy is just to check and it doesn't enforce or it doesn't uh, install or deploy anything. It is just a check and it doesn't do anything else. So that is one of the comparisons when we had checked between uh, your OS policy and your guest policy. So for your guest policy, there's only enforcement, whereas for your OS policy, you can also check for compliance using your validation mode. Whereas there is, a, and also of course there is enforcement present. So using enforcement, you can also install and deploy as well as two other things so that your uh, resource is in a desired state. So these, this is one of the major differentiation between validation and enforcement. So validation is just a check, whereas enforcement not only checks, but it also makes sure that the resource is, is that the resource is in a desired state. And then there is a resource group. So the resource group is basically the operating system name and the version that is associated with the resource. And within this particular resource group is the resource. So the resource tells you on what specific Specification is needed for that VM to attain the desired configuration. So your resource can be of four types. It's either the package. So the package is used for installing or removing Linux or Windows packages. You can also have a repository to specify which particular package needs to be installed. And if you want to run a shell script, then you can use your uh, exec command. And if you just want to use your files, then you, should, you can use your file command. So now let's look at a few examples. So Let's open this particular page. Now, this GitHub repository gives you a few examples on how you can create your OS policy. So here now, let's look at one of the examples. So let's open up this particular. So here you can see that uh, the resource group has got an inventory filter of Debian. So this will only run for Debian. And here what we are doing is within the resource, we are got two entries. One is the repository and the second is the package. So the repository is basically just to uh, get the package information. So this is the package information over here. And once you get that package information, you're gonna just use PKG to install that particular package. So what we are installing here is just the stack, dive, stack driver agent. So similarly, one is for Debian and the other filter is for Ubuntu. So let's use one of these 
exam to create our own policy. So here is a very simple example of how a policy looks like. So this particular policy will just install Node.js and it just has package. So I'm not using a repository to install a particular version. So it will pick up the latest version of Node.js and install that. So again, this is in mode enforcement. So that means it will install. So what this will do is it will check for the desired state. So if the desired state is installed and if it's not installed in the virtual machine, then because of because the mode is enforced enforcement, that will make sure that Node.js is installed. So let's run this particular OS policy. So let's go back to our console. Okay, the first thing I'll do is I'll create a few instances. Let's click on create instance. And let's just call this as node. And it'll be a need to micro. And let's make the boot disk as standard persistent so that this falls under the free tire. And let's create our machine. Similarly, I'll create one more machine. I'll call this node 2. Again, this will be an E2 micro. And the boot disk again would be standard persistent. Let's click on select and let's create this instance as well. Okay, so once our instance is created, the next thing that you need to do is you need to go to your compute engine. You need to go to OS configuration manage, management, which falls under the VM manager. So let's open this. And here, once you've opened it, you can see two instances and there are no policies attached to this particular instance. So what we'll do is we'll create our OS policy. So let's click on create OS policy agent. And let's just call this as node install. And here you need to attach the OS policy that you have created. So let's click on OS policy and let's upload that particular file. So it's basically the same file. This particular file I'll also send in the description below so you can just check that out. And that's about it. You can add filters as well. So yeah, and another important thing is since it's just a zonal service, you also need to specify in which particular zone you need this particular OS policy to run. So we have our machines in US Central. So this is an important thing to remember as well. And you can add also a filter for your OS distribution and you can either filter both include and exclude by based on label. So this is one of the differences between uh, your guest policy and your OS policy. So exclusion filters are not available for guest policy, whereas it is available for OS policy. OK, so let's just leave everything as blank. So if you have any doubts with this, please get in touch with me. I'll gladly help you out. So let's click on start rollout and this will run our particular OS policy. Let's click on start rollout. And this will take a few minutes. So let's wait for this particular process to be finished. So what this will do is it will uh, check for each virtual machine one by one. So this takes a bit of time to complete. So let's wait and let's check once everything is done. So you can see that there is no policy yet. So this particular state will change to uh, something else. So it wouldn't be no policy. It will be one policy attached to this particular instance. So let's wait and uh, wait for this particular process to finish. OK, so finally, both our uh, policies have run for these instances. So let's also look at the assignment. So if you look at the assignment, this particular uh, policy state assignment that we had created. So this has also succeeded. So it's basically uh, installed node within these two uh, virtual machines. So let's go and check whether the node is installed. So let's uh, go to our instances and let's SSH into one of them and let's check if there is node installed in one of them. So let's just do a node V and you can see that there is node installed. So Let's run the uh, node terminal as well. So, and you can see that it works. So, uh, the OS policy was uh, successfully able to install node. So, I hope this was a useful lecture. Now, if you have any doubts with uh, OS policies, please do get in touch with me and I will gladly help you out. It can be a little intimidating initially, but then once you get used to it, it's pretty straightforward. So, I'll see you in the next chapter.